Hey, all you lovely viewers, it's Sword Kirby X back again. I know you were thinking that was my last video I posted on to my channel, but no, this is just a little helpful advice for my for you guys on what am I going to do on this video. So I'm just gonna do this right now. So this video I'm doing for right now is how to love love, how to love. Well, it's actually how to level up from levels 200 to 250. I'm currently right now level 228. So I'm currently like 30 more levels. Well, hold up. It's like 30 more levels, I think. Yeah, 30 more levels till max level 250. But I'm still going to be streaming. Don't worry. I'm going to be streaming every Saturday if I got the time. But anyways, in this video, I'm going to help you guys on which areas to grind to level 250. And which mobs has the highest EXP. And that's about it. For right now, we're in floor 9. As you can see, where I'm going to be showing you where I'm going to be heading to. Is where all the other players who are grinding this mob. What you need to do is just go right into this area. Take a left. And go straight right to there. You'll see a couple. Ignore the batting eyes. if you, In case you want to get some drops from these guys. And also the fish rock spider. So where I'm going to right now is this area right here. You'll see a lot of players there. You'll see some players there, which I grinded here. And once this mob spot, this mob is known as the end. This mob has a 2% chance of dropping the Slayer's Plate armor, which is level 78. And it also has a chance of dropping the Oculus, Great Sword, and the Shatterthorn right here. Hold up, I got oh, here's my volume. So yeah. A lot of players usually come here to grind this mob for rares and for EXP. I mainly come here just for the Slayer's Play Armor. That's what I got right here. Which is the best for me. So, this is mostly just a thing for most players who want this. I want this mob to grind for the rares and uncommons. There's more ends where you can find them. And that's where I'm just showing you where they're finding this one right here. So that's it for floor 9, now we move on to floor 10. Okay, so right now we're here in floor 10, and I'm already currently at the mini boss room. So what you need to do, in case if you want to grind for more higher EXP, is best to go with the mini boss arena. Or if you want to go to boss, you have to go in a group. For this one, this mob has a chance of dropping, well this, well that one, the mini boss, you have a 0.5% chance of dropping it in the Mizzou and the Great Sword, and the Kusanagi and Katana. And over here you got a, is some Shadow Figures. Wait, why did I say Shadow Figures? I meant Shady Villagers. These mobs have a 2% chance of dropping the Killer's Cloak Armor and the Bone Reaper Great Sword, or sometimes known as Bone Reaper Longsword. They also have a 1% chance of dropping the Angel's Tears right here and the Dark Star Greatsword. So 725 plus 200 EXP equals a total of about 9. It's a max total of 925 experience points if you want to grind this area. And for the weapons, I recommend you to get yourself a floor 10 weapon that does max damage. Or in case you want to grab yourself one of these 411 legendaries, say like Wolf Slayer for example. Or if you want to grab yourself one of these bears, and for another example, say like King's Legacy. I recommend going for like long range weapons instead of going for short range weapons. Because using long range really helps out so you want to take so much damage. And, rec and, sec and the third recommendation is you go in with a party so you don't have to die so much. Okay, so that's all I got for this one, but let me get this last one just in case I'm going to get this. And I'm going to my phone because I'm just recording this. Okay, that's all I got for uh, floor 10. Now we move on to floor 11, which is Hypercidia. <laughs> Here in the final floor, floor 11, Hypercidia. I'm gonna show you some best places where I grind the most 
If you haven't seen my uh, level 100 to level 200 video, I'm gonna leave the link in the description down below if you already reached 100, 100 to 120, or if you want to increase your server level if you want to do that. So for right now, I'm gonna go into the main street, or sometimes known as the main street area right here. But the mobs I'm gonna be showing you for right now are the Reapers. Reapers are mostly these hedgehog hair-like mobs. Right now, the best way to do it is you go up on this van. That way you don't take so much damage and you can only use long range weapons. I recommend using King's Legacy, World Slayer, or Kusanagi or Oblivion if you already have, if you unlocked Floor 11 at an earlier level. And for the Reapers, these Reapers have a 2% chance of dropping the Z Striker Longsword, I think. Yeah, they dropped the Z Striker. Yeah, they have a 2% drop, drop chance of dropping the... Was it a 5%? I don't know. They have a 5% or a 2% chance of dropping the Z Striker Longsword available for level 105. They also have a 2% chance of dropping the Doom Slayer Greatsword. One of my favorite Greatswords of all time. This was my first drop when I got this during the upload of update of Hypercidia. Well, during the up first update of Hypercidia, this was my first uncommon uh, uncommon drop I ever got. And now, they also have a 2% chance of dropping the blue energy blade. Available for level 110, with the clean damage of 1493 and the max of 2090. If I got the correct damage code, yeah, it's recommend. Yeah, I recommend you level up yourself to level 115 and equip yourself with the ra rares. They do much damage than these uncommons. Yeah, that's what I needed to say for right now. So I'm just gonna. Ah, sorry. Old sub. Old sub. Old. Sorry, sub. And anyways, I'm gonna kill this last one, and yeah, that's all I got for this one. I'm gonna show you right next area. Okay, so we're here on the final area I'm showing you. This is where there's two mobs that has the most good EXPs to grind and the best items to drop. For there's two right here, which I'm showing is the giant. And the Shadow Figure. Shadow Figure only gives about 235 HP per kill. It also has a 2% drop chance of dropping the Cyber Military Armor available for levels 105. And it also drops a level 115 longsword called the King's Legacy. For this giant, it, this one gives about 600 EXP per kill. But it has a lot, but not that much. It has a lot of health, but not that much. I recommend going on the van and just trying uh, trying to lure it right over here to where the shadow figure and both of them spawn at the same time. You can get you can get a chance of dropping two items of you know, chance of dropping one item from each mob. For this one, the giant or sometimes the the question mark. I don't know. Like that. Hmm. Well, I don't know. This one drops a robe it's called the Shadow Ninja Robe. Available for level 110, and a rare great sword called the God Module, available for level 115. Both well, pretty good rares to grind if you're looking for these types of weapons. I have them both maxed out just for this occasion, just to show you which ones I got in two different mobs. I got both the God Module and the Shadow Ninja. Rare. And I also have is a Cyber Military Max Fully and two maxed out King's Legacies, which I'm showcasing right now in this video. So yeah, that's the two I got for right now. So yeah, that was all the advice I gave for you guys. Oh wait, let me put on my death blade just to be, as my signature armor for this video. And that is it for the advice I'm giving you on which floors to grind if your level is 200 or higher. And thank you guys for watching this. I know you guys want me to do this stuff. You kind of miss me doing these content. I know 
I'm kind of sad there's no updates from this game, but I'm currently happy of being a good player to helping out other players who are levels lower or higher in this occasion. That's all I wanted to say for this video right now. If you do like this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want to join in the... I can't say this because there's already... I think there's already a Legacy Squad or something like that. I'm also going to be calling you guys the Slayer. The World Slayer Squad. Nah, I'm just gonna be calling you the Slayer Squad because the World Slayer and Slayer's Plate, they both have the name Slayers, including Doom Slayer. Yada yada yada. I know I'm I just saying a lot. So I'm just gonna call you the World the Slayer Squad for right now. But if you guys like this video, make sure to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're on our goal to 200 to 1k subscribers on my channel. And also to make sure to join in the Swordcast community discord, which I'll leave in the description down below. And this is your pal, SwordKBX, signing off of Swordburst 2, and I'll see you guys when I'm streaming this Saturday. Peace out, love you all, stay safe, stay hydrated, and bye everybody. Jack it up.